The Scrovegni Chapel is built in an area with a delicate hydrogeological balance. Its floorboard rests upon the vault of the underground crypt. The apse is erected on the land, but its foundations are unknown. Dedicated to St. Mary of Charity and painted with frescoes by Giotto in the early 1300s, under commission of Enrico Scrovegni, the chapel is an artistic heritage of immeasurable value for mankind. Since 1880, it is property of the city of Padua. During the restoration of the chapel's wooden roof, the ring beams were substituted by ones in reinforced concrete and the tresses in steel, which are rigid structures that weigh upon the walls, making it more vulnerable in case of earthquakes. In fact, the chapel was damaged during the 1976 earthquake in Friuli and needed repair. This is the sacristy. Public entrance to the crypt is forbidden because it is dangerous. Access is through an opening on the northern wall and it is reached by a stone stairway. The vault is decorated with the same stars that are found in the sacristy. Due to the humidity, the windows are left without glass panes. These brick structures, which were supposed to help the chapel withstand the shock waves from bombs, have been left since World War II. The floor consists in a pouring rough and uneven cement, on which water from the underlying water table always flows. Thanks to a small incline, the water flows towards the lowest level against a wall. The water collects in a crude tank, in which a system of pumps draws up the water to remove it. In a recess, a terracotta tube emerges, which serves to bring water into the crypt. Now instead, there is the opposite problem. Several experts say that the Giotto Chapel is not in danger, that everything is under control. In the meantime, in the area of delicate hydrogeological balance surrounding the Scrovegni Chapel, a multi-level parking building was built. Two 104 meters high tower are under construction and a project has been made for an auditorium. What other plans are there for the future?